Okay, this one is about uh, you know how you s design some of these suppliers. Uh, if I haven't said it before, this is a trunk and branch uh, duct work. And all I'm really wanting to show here is we have air passing down through this thing. And uh, you have one run off here, and that's all nice and normal. Now, we've got the end of the duct. And earlier I showed you one where we actually had a run coming off the end of the duct, which takes a lot of the airflow. Uh, in this case, we've got one right here at the very end of the duct, and this one's back, we'll say it's a foot or so back. Uh, and <clears throat> what I'm trying to get across on this, this one here is the way you do this, because this area here is all turbulent air. The air is coming down there, its velocity pressure is pushing it along, and it strikes this end and it starts curling about. Well, if you move this back, uh, some say six inches, some say a foot uh, from the end, you'll have a more consistent flow out of this thing. It will have about the same flow as you have out of this one. This one here oftentimes will have less flow because all this turbulent air is actually kind of blocking this. If I had moved it back up here somewhere, you would have reduced that, uh, that turbulent air at the outlet. And that's just one of the things when you're building this type of ductwork that you should be aware of. They should not come off uh, in this turbulent air area. And that's all on that one. That's just a little short one.